There is a well-known drawback of LLMs, and that is the age of training data. Most LLMs have training data that it's at least a year old. In fact, if you're using tools like Cursor today, and you take a look at the underlying LLMs, whether it's Claude, whether it's GPT-4 or 5 now, um, for the most part, you're going to see training data from uh, sometime in 2024. So what's the problem there? If you have old training data, that means uh, your LLM is unaware of recently discovered vulnerabilities in the code, uh, You know, for example, in your software dependencies. And by default, the LLMs are going to be using older dependencies. You know, it's rather than choose pull from latest, it's going to be pulling something old. So what can you do about that? Well, uh, you need to add real-time security signal from tools that will have that information to supplement the um, more static nature of the LLM. Now, in the past, we would have used APIs to call out to be able to get this information. However, with LLMs, APIs just are not a good fit. And there's several reasons for that. Um, essentially at their core, uh, APIs are designed for human users, not LLMs. So, uh, you know, with a human user, it's expected that you can interpret documentation and handle error codes and manage complex data structures. LLMs, which operate on natural language, are just not inherently equipped to deal with this type of structure. Also, APIs have an imperative nature, and that doesn't jive well with how, um, LLMs work. So what's the alternative? The alternative is a standard called MCP, Model Context Protocol, and an MCP server acts very much like an API in order to call in your third-party tools, be it Jira and Confluence and Slack, or in a case of a security, a tool like Endor Labs.